Hello, Teo here with Puppet Labs. I'm here to talk about Google's new infrastructure as a service offering, Google Compute Engine. Puppet Labs has been able to, we've given, been given early access to Google Compute Engine and we've done some um, initial integration with their APIs. The way you can use Puppet's already robust cloud provisioner tool to integrate um, Puppet and Google Com Compute Engine. So I've gone on and set up a Puppet Master in Google Compute Engine, and let's take a look at that in their console. So we have um, a, a single instance running. I have 20 allocated um, to me, because I don't need that many for, for this demonstration. And then I've also created in their default network a firewall rule, so anywhere in the world can um, get to the Puppet Enterprise console when, when we start um, provisioning nodes. Okay, so now I'm on the Puppet Master, and what I want to do is I want to install the plugin for the Cloud Provisioner. We built a Puppet module um, that does the installation and setup for you as well to make that really easy. So we'll just look for that Puppet module. Puppet module. And we'll use the search functionality. And we'll just use a wildcard search and search for node. And we'll see that the Puppet Labs node GCE module is there available for us. So we're going to install that module, and we'll need to do this as root because we want this to be installed for everybody here on the Puppet Master. Okay, and install that module. Great. And we can see that it pulled in a couple more modules that we needed in order to make the installation easy. Now we can see that the module was installed in our module path. So the node GCE module. And as part of the GCE module, we want to make it really easy to install and put all the, the plugin um, components in the proper places on a Puppet Master or a Puppet client. Anywhere where you have um, Puppet installed, whether it's open source or um, Puppet Enterprise. So, what we're going to do is use um, the automation, um, the configuration script that we have for installing the GCE plugin for a cloud provisioner. So, we'll just sudo, let's use Puppet on the command line here, apply, and then inside of that node mo module, there is a Puppet manifest that describes what we're um, going to do to set up this um, plugin for Cloud Provisioner. All right, so we don't see any errors. That's good. The Puppet Manifest created a um, credential building script that allows us to set up Puppet Cloud Provisioner with the um, Google Compute credentials that we've already created in our Google Compute account. Puppet generated a build script for um, configuring the credentials for individual users um, to use with Puppet Cloud Provisioner and Google Compute Engine. So we're going to use that script um, to set up our credentials. Simply placed in temp, run that, and now it gives us a URL. to our browser. Now I'm logged in to my Google account so this will be relevant to my Google account. And now it says allow access. Just copy the credentials over. And ask us where we want to put them. We're going to put them in our .fog directory, in our home directory. Um, and there we go. So now we have Puppet um, Cloud Provisioner configured to use Google Compute. All right, now we're going to use Puppet Cloud Provisioner to provision some nodes into Google Compute Engine. So we need Puppet, and then we want to specify um, that we're using node GCE, and that we want to create and now that we're creating an instance, we also um, need to specify the project into which we're creating it, just like before. We 
we need to give it a name. The name we're going to give it is client01. So it's client it's created. As you can see, client01 was created in the console. And we can also go and do a list on it and get back to the JSON that represents it. So we can go in and create a couple more clients here. Let's increment the number. All right, now we have a couple clients created. Now what we want to do is install Puppet on this. Puppet node tool has the ability to install Puppet. If you notice, we have it um, queued up in, using Google Storage. And then we're just passing it a um, install answer file, and we're going to install Puppet Enterprise. Pretty easy. It's the name of the clients we've, been, we've created. It's SSHing, installing Puppet. Second client, third client. Well, that one's running. We'll go over to the <coughs> console. We can see that these are all added to our console, our Google console. But now we can see they're also connecting. So client two is is in there. Now they're connected to the master, and they're ready for you to um, use Puppet Enterprise to configure the nodes.